Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Ashtex. This is the new series that we are starting. In this series, we will be learning the reason and today's topic is why array list is faster while retrieving values. So let's get started. Now the first question is what is an array list? Now an array list is a growable array. And in order to create a list in Java, we need to type list array list equals to new array list. Now this list is of type string. Now let's assume this whole black screen is RAM. And somewhere inside this RAM, we will have our JVM which will contain all logical memory partition. And the one we are interested in is heap memory. So our initial size is 8 and once we type this, our JVM will start finding the place where it can assign 8 consecutive blocks and it won't stop until it finds the location. So it seems like JVM is able to find the place where it can create a list with 8 consecutive blocks. Now once it finds the place, our JVM will start creating the list. Starting with index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, and so on till index 7. In order to add a value to indexes, we need to type arraylist.add and inside the parenthesis we will be providing the value, which is in our case blue. So once we type this, our JVM will add the value to the first index which is index 0. Now if we add another value, our JVM will take that value and add that value to the next index that is index 1. Similarly for all other indexes. Now what will happen if we want to get or retrieve the value from the list? So in order to do that, we need to type arraylist.get and inside the parenthesis, we will be providing the index. Now here, as we have provided index number 5, we basically want the value purple. So this is the value that we are looking for. Now how JVM will find the location? So for that, JVM will use something called memory address. Now this memory address is basically an hexadecimal value but for our understanding we are keeping it as an integer starting with 100. So for index 0 we will assume the value with the location is 100. Similarly for other indexes since it's a consecutive memory location we have 100 till 107. Now this list is created by JVM. So JVM knows the memory address for index 0 and for getting the value we passed in the index that is index number 5. So with these two values JVM will identify the memory address and it will reach to the address and pull the value back for us and it will return the value that is purple. So this is how JVM will find the index and return the value. Now let's take a look at the big O notation for the get operation. So our JVM did one operation to get the value and from this we'll calculate the big O notation. So the number of operations JVM performed to get the value was 1 and the big O notation is O of 1 which is number of operation. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will be learning the reason why array list is slower while removing or deleting the values from it. So, Please like, share and subscribe the channel and 
don't forget to click the bell icon to get the latest notification from us thanks for watching